Hello everyone and welcome back to Yakuza Kiwami 2, the last session. Pretty big events have been occurring. Uh, we went into a little bit of a trap, got ourselves a little bit shot. Well, not us, but some of our team. And uh, yeah, it's all been going down. So we are now grouping up back at Serena. Oh, Let's see how this goes. ああ、戦国だ。マスターたちは金で追い込まれたらしい。そう。that sounds like bullshit, doesn't it? Am I crazy? <laughs> they had surveillance cameras that picked up exclusively that part and not any of the other parts? I call BS. Are we on to a new chapter? We are. Chapter 8, Suspect. When the detective is sus. Did they not, <laughs> Did they not uh, see all the rest of it where that guy just shot them and it was total self-defense? <laughs>彼は我々の極秘捜査に協力してもらっているもので、元刑事とはいえ、銃の携帯などを許せるはずはなかろう。おっしゃる通りですが、彼の協力がなければ、ミレニアムタワーを爆破させた組織を特定するのは難しい状
花屋が撮ったビデオが証拠になってるのかおそらくそうだろうこうなったらとことん人言派の動きを追ってやるだがこのままカムロ町にいたら逮捕されるのは時間の問題だろう一旦離れた方がいい。これからどうするつもりだ。大悟の居場所を探し当てて、そこから人言派を探ってみる。どうやって。こうなったら、あいつを頼るしかない。花屋か。ああ何か掴んだら、連絡する。Alrighty. <sighs> we need to dig up what we can on the Jingyuan Mafia right away, for Date san's sake too.、Uh. Yeah, our best bet right now is the florist. He's apparently up in the Millennium Tower now.、Eh. Yeah, let's head over. Alrighty. I wonder if the implication is the florist doctored the footage so that they only saw that bit. And not the rest of it, but like, even if they didn't get shown the rest of it, they must know just by seeing that footage that there is also footage of what happened either side of that, right? Oh, hey, what do you want? You've got a sub story for me? Sure. Kiru san. Oh? Hey, Yuya. How's it going? Hi. Not bad, not bad. With Kazuki san gone for the time being, I really gotta step up my game. Hey, why don't you drop in for a drink? You deserve to kick back and take a load off every now and then. Sure.、Uh. I like you, yeah? You know, I could actually use a drink. Great. Let's head inside. Looks like you're keeping yourself busy here, you, yeah? Hi! You bet. Kazuki san went and left the place in my hands, so I'm feeling more motivated than ever to prove myself. Huh. Glad to hear it. For real. For real? I did some dumb things in the past, but it's all because of Kazuki san that I'm the manager here. I've got to do something to make it up to him, you know? Come on, man. He's not the only one you're in the biz for, right? <laughs> What about that rocking girlfriend you got? <clears throat> Shut it, Shun. Miyu san, right? Man, I'd be motivated too coming home to a girl like her. Oh. She does get me going. <laughs> Bruh. In more ways than one, I bet. <laughs> <laughs> hey, get your mind out of the gutter, asshole. <laughs> Heh, don't be embarrassed, Yuya. Everyone has that special someone. Don't you start now, too, Kiyu san. Oh boy, who are these dickheads? Oi! Nice school uniform. Yuya, what's going on? Black Sanda. お前ら何しに来やがった何しにとはご挨拶だな、元ヘッド。コウジヘッドだったあんたなら、何しに来たかわかるはずだぜ。Get an ass beating? 他のはどこだ知らねえ。嘘つくんじゃねえよ。あんたが示した時期ヘッドだ。知らねえはずがねえ知らねえもんは知らねえんだよそうか。だったら五百万きっちり払ってもらうぜなんで俺がそんな大金払うんだずいぶん儲けてんだろレジの中にあるんじゃねえのか俺の金じゃねえ店の金だおいなめたこと言ってんだよチームばっくれたやつは五百万あんたが決めた掟じゃねえかあんたが示したヘッドがばっくれたんだ That really sounds like not his problem. So, I'm going to go to the house. I'm going to go to the house. Someone else did a thing. Oh, right. I guess I got to pay money then. Fuck off. Yuya, who were those guys? Stay out of this, Kiyu san. This problem's mine and mine alone. Anyways, <laughs> anyways, I'm gonna go a p o l o g i z e to my customers. I'll see you around. 
embracing my true self. All right. Bro used to lead a gang. Left. He got a replacement. Oh, is that you, Ki? You said. Cool. Miu. Long time no see. I know, right? We've been out of touch since you saved me from those yakuza last year. I really can't thank you enough for what you did for me and you, you though. Yeah. Nah, water under the bridge. Seriously, Kiyu-san, you saved our lives. Speaking of Yuya, is he inside? Uh, yeah, but there was some trouble. He's probably a little preoccupied right now. Eh? What do you mean? This guy named Koji from Black Thunder showed up and started slinging accusations at Yuya. I see. So Koji found him. They kept mentioning an Okano. Oh wait, that's Kiyu. <laughs> they kept mentioning an Okano. And have any idea who that is, Miyu? He and Yuya founded Black Thunder. That was way back, before Kazuki-san took Yuya in off the streets. Koji joined soon after the gang started up. The three of them were serious thugs, always getting into trouble one way or another. And now Koji's the only one left. You wouldn't happen to know where Okano is, would you? Um... Miyu, please. I don't want to see Yuya dragged back into this mess now that he's finally making a name for himself. Okay. There's this bar, Earth Angel, over in the Champion District. The mama there can tell you what you want to know. Just ask for Akko. Will do. Thanks, Miyu. Clap. Right, Champion District up here. Yeah. Uh, would it be faster? It'd probably be faster to turn around and get a car to East Taihei, right? No, I just want to run! <laughs> Please, game, stop putting these people right fucking next to... Oh good, hello. There's no way of losing them once you've fucking caught, caught them, is there? Well, yes, I'll take 20 grand. Thank you very much. I have a question for you, Mama. You know an Akko? You betcha, baby. She's right in front of you, in the flesh. You want a drink? Yeah. I think I'll pass for tonight. Miu sent me this way. Hmm? Miu? What did she say? She said you'd know where Okano is. What? But I... I... So you do know where he is? Yeah? No, I don't know anything. I get the feeling like... That is... Okano. Please, Koji showed up at Yuya's club. Yuya's in big trouble if we don't find Okano. Somewhere in the realm of five mil. Black Thunder? Mama, tell me what you know. I'm asking for a friend. Why can't Koji just give this up? Tell me where Okano is and maybe I can put a stop to it. Right in front of you. Yeah, call that. But not anymore. Nani. Nani. Mm. What? Never seen an ex-thug turned into an Okama mama? Okama mama. Guess you could say I'm a bit of a late bloomer, sweetie. Took me years to figure out who I really was inside. But you know, I didn't run away because I wanted to. I just... Wasn't sure how to face Koji. It's been tough to it's it's been tough enough for me to accept myself. Who knows what he'd say? Your life is yours to live. You shouldn't have to justify it to anyone else. 
was this quest, uh, genuine question, was this quest in the original two? Because the original two was a long time ago, right? I would be very impressed if this quest was in the original two and they were doing like Kiyu being accepting of trans people in like all the way back then. Because it has to be, the original two has to be like what, 20 plus years ago or something? It, maybe not that far, I don't know, it was, it was a long time ago. So yeah, I'm very curious if this is something that was added in Kiwami or if that is actually there in the original. The one thing I can't accept is you letting you just suffer because of this. I, I, I know it's wrong, but... Uh... What now? <laughs> Do I just have to walk out, maybe? Oh, okay. Uh. Hello? Kiyu-san, I'm so glad you picked up. I got some bad news. Those Black Thunder guys are back. Nani. Nani. What? Yuyu-san's hol Yuyu holding them off, but I don't know how long he can last. Damn. Okay. Okay, I know we'll turn up. Guarantee it. Guarantee it. どっちの方で行かれますか? Slightly too far. Oh wait, no, slightly too soon. Oh wait, is it someone out in front? It looks like it's it looks like it's saying to talk to someone out in front, but I think it actually means go inside. Ah, they're doing the Kuze special. <laughs> what the fuck was the point of that? How do you even get the bikes in here? <笑>一人で何ができる元ヘッドだからって容赦しねえぞ上等だかかってきやがれおいゆうやあ、like Hell yeah. <laughs> I am actually pretty funny. Yeah. It's true. It's true. Did you literally just bring the bikes in so that I could pick up a bike and fucking beat the shit out of you with it? Oh wait, the bikes are gone in the actual fight? Bruh, that's cheating. <laughs> Damn. Bro, Yuya was on one. Yuya was having a mad one. Love it. Yuya! あれ、来るぜ。ユヤ、これを着て。こいつは。ユヤが私にくれた。ブラックサンダー初代ヘッドのドッグオフだよ。いや。Oh, we're going in for round 2. Okay. Round 2. Fight. Immediately get knocked out. 
This is the end of the line for Black Thunder. Yuya. Okano. Uh, Mama-san. You showed up in the nick of time. You're like some kind of guardian angel. Guardian angel? I think you mean fairy godmother. <laughs> <laughs> right? Kiryu-san. I've got to thank you too, Kiryu-san. You really saved my skin. Don't worry about it. I'm always happy to help a friend in need. Speaking of friends, Yuya. Yeah? You have some good ones. Take care of them, okay? Hi! I will. Well, I should be going. Hmm? Huh? Hmm? What's up? Wait a second, you're not. Oh, yes I am. I'm head over heels for him. <laughs> what? Banter. Oh, that was a good one. 125 purple as well, not too shabby. Uh, right. So you were the Mahjong one I can't do. You were wanting 250 grand. I just need to check in on you. So we could do that. Uh, hmm. What even is the main quest right now? Oh, the florist. Right, right, right. Hmm. What should we do? What are we feeling? Are we feeling sub-story or are we feeling main story? I'm kind of feeling sub-story. I'm kind of feeling sub-story. Let's go check out the one at the end of this road. I've been feeling the sub-stories a lot more in this game. Kiwami 1, a lot of the sub-stories were complete shit. And so I really wasn't feeling the sub-stories at all in that game. In this game, they're almost all good so far. I don't think there's been yeah. one that's been, like, just complete trash. What's up, my boy? Mm. Excuse me. Didn't mean to holler at you, man. Name's Michael Nayoya, the most banging hip-hop artist on the raw streets of Camarocho. Think I could bother a brother to listen to my new mix? Shit's gonna be lit, but I want to make sure it's got soul, too. You ready for the sickest flow to hit your ear holes, bro? Rags to riches. I'll give it a listen. Hip hop. I feel like I've heard Haruka mention that genre once or twice. <laughs> I guess it wouldn't hurt to know what's popular nowadays. Uh. Sure, I'll give it a listen. <laughs> Word up, brother. Time to start the flow. Check it. The name's DJ Michael, and I'm here to say I'm dropping. Oh, okay. It goes faster than I can actually read it. Cool. I was, I was gonna do it, I was gonna do it, but it's it's auto-scrolling too fast, so I guess you just gotta read it for yourself. That is a shame. I was gonna give it my all. I was gonna rap it like the rap god himself. But uh, no, auto-scroll said fuck off apparently. You. Well, what do you think? Give it to me straight, bro. I can take it. <laughs> Doesn't have much mainstream appeal. You're not really talented. I think I'm going to puke. <clears throat> I think I'm going to puke. Sorry, but that was maybe the worst thing I've ever heard. Oh. Yeah, I know. 
I've known for a while my rap game wasn't up to snuff, but I didn't want to accept it. Real talk. I've been thinking of dropping off the music scene altogether. Guess I should really go through with it, huh? Maybe I'll go work on my family's grape farm or something. I'd be better off picking grapes than spitting rhymes. Here, I don't need this anymore. You can have it, man. Michael's self-produced CD. Uh. Thanks. Well, later. <clears throat> what can I possibly do with this CD? Maybe the guys over at Stardust can use it. Are we gonna... God damn it, just let me run. I don't want to talk to you. Just let me fucking sprint. Just let me fucking sprint. It is the single most annoying thing in this game. Is that it starts you close enough to them so that if you press A to sprint, you don't sprint and you fucking talk to them instead. Give me like a fucking three second grace period or something, you know? Wait. Who's the one here? Do I know you? Mushi. Excuse me, you there. May I have a word? I'm a humble writer, hoping to compose my magnum opus set in the savage streets of Camarocho. This one was blue. I thought blue meant it was already in progress. But I haven't spoken to this guy before, have I? But I lack inspiration. <sighs> you seem to be a man of the world. Would you have anything of note? Something that bears the anguished cries of our nation's youth. Oh. Oh, this is this. Oh, I thought we had to give this to Stardust. I do have that horrible rap CD. It's possible those cries would be a little too anguished for this guy, though. Uh. Well, I did just get this CD from a kid who seemed pretty unhappy. Can't say I'd recommend it, though. A CD, you say? That would be perfect. I have yet to upgrade to them MP3 players. You know what? Forget it. It's really not worth the trouble. No, please! I must know what the youth of this era think of the rampant corruption in our city. Sure. If you insist. But don't blame me for the pain in your ears later, okay? Ah, this blank disc's modest exterior surely conceals the incredible might held within. Now for the true test. I shall hear it. <clears throat> oh, what is this? Nanny. Hey, Nanny, are you okay? <laughs> <laughs> this is quite a marvelous shock indeed. Every fiber of my being is letting out a scream of excruciating pain. I feel as though my skin will slough off my body. <sighs> I had no idea a song could eat away at my soul in such a manner. Is this the hollowness the youth of today feel? That's not the response I was expecting. <laughs> I shall channel these emotions directly into my masterpiece. Please, if you give me this CD, I will give you this pen in exchange. <sighs> Slick fountain pen. You really liked it. <laughs> Not at all, and yet it is perfect. Farewell. People are into the strangest things. Hmm. Maybe the clerk over at Abiso will know how much this fountain pen is worth. The clerk over at where? This place? This place. Go through this alley, down the road, second left. Gotta be a shiny in here, right? Yeah. Jump. Hey look, it's the big novelty comb that Majima was hiding inside a bunch. Wait, did it just give me an option to do something? Oh, it did! Nice. <laughs> God, let me run, you fucking bitch. Yeah. Ah, wait, wait, wait. Mm -hmm. Who are you? <laughs> uh, sorry, this may sound weird, but some old fart just gave you a fountain pen over by Stardust, right? Uh, that's right. Can I have it, please? Mm -hmm. Why? Oh, sorry, let me back up a bit. My name's Kaorin. I'm a cosplayer. 
I'm going gothic lolly at my next con, but I need something to uh, draw attention to my chest. You know, to stand out. Okay. <laughs> Bit weird. Uh. That's when I saw that pen. It's big, stylish, and a perfectly deep black. It'll be the finishing touch in the neckline of my costume. Please, I need that pen. Fine. If you need it that badly. <laughs> yay, yay, yay. Thank you so much. My pics from this con are going to be everywhere. Wait, if you saw me all the way down at Stardust, why didn't you just stop me there? A big burly yakuza looking guy like you? I was too scared, to be honest. But seeing you head towards the pawn shop, I guess I found my courage. I'm glad you're so nice. Thank you. Oh, here, why don't you take these boots as a trade? I've only worn them for, for one costume I already retired, so they're practically brand new. Now, where am I taking these to? But... <laughs> Thanks, mister. Bye now. Boy. Hey, what am I going to do with these? She's gone. Hmm. I don't really want Haruka wearing these. Maybe the mamma over at Earth Angel can find them a home. Oh. So was this only available because I just did the Yaya one? You, you, you. What was his fucking name? Yuya? Yuya. Because otherwise we wouldn't know the Mamma Earth Angel, right? So I guess this must have just appeared? Maybe? Man, there's fucking thugs up in front. There's thugs down to the right. I guess we can check on this guy in the shop. Who was it? This guy? Oh no, I had to buy something, right? Sure. Buy the other stuff <laughs> and complete the uh, complete the collection here. Hey, Kiyu-san. Thanks for all the business. How much of the menu have you tried at this point? Nothing warms my heart more than a repeat customer. I could eat the ramen you make every day. It's really that good. <laughs> Man, I wish all my customers were as friendly as you. You know what? From now on, if you ever need my ramen in a pinch, I'm going to have a nice hot bowl waiting for you. He's now your ally. Great. <laughs> well, that was an easy sub story. Hands off the merchandise. Come on, Mama. What's the harm in getting a little handsy? Oh, boy. Mama under attack. You know, I've always wanted to caress that five o'clock shadow you've got going on. How dare you? Ladies not grow beards. Well, have you taken a look in the mirror? Why don't you just shave? Having a bearded Mama serving really kills the mood. If you're not into my style, you don't have to drink here, you know. You have the audacity to say that to me, one of your best damn customers. That's always funny. When people are like, but I come here so much, or, you know, <laughs> it's like when people think that just because they go to a place, that means that the person wants them there. <laughs> you see that a lot. Best customer on my ass, all you do when you show up is complain and try to cop a feel. What kind of bar do you think I'm running here? You like to act tough, but I know you love all the attention. Now come on, bring it in, baby. Oh, come or not, I'm not about to let some asshole put his grimy hands on me. Bitch, I'll show you what happens when you take that tone with me. Hey, that's enough. Excuse me. Kiryu-san, long time no see. Who the fuck is this guy? 
You wanted a clean-shaven face, right? How about I start by knocking that fuzz off of yours? Guys like you are the scum of the earth. Kiyu-san. You got no right to make threats, arsehole. I'll show you what happens to guys who start shit with me. Will you? Will you? Let's see. <laughs> Damn, looks like you're getting bitched, buddy. Well, still feeling bold? Ugh. Unless you want more where that came from, you're banned from this bar. I better never catch you here again. Please, anything but that. Excuse me. I'll do anything. Just don't ban me from Earth Angel. I've been a real arsehole. I know it. But I never set out to cause trouble for Mama here. You ha what? How could you possibly have not set out to cause trouble? You were all doing that completely on your own. The truth is, I don't know how to treat a girl I like. I've always ended up being a massive dickhead to them. <laughs> right. Wait, you what? That's some playground level psychology, man. Please, I'll work on it. I'll become a saint. Just don't ban me from Earth Angel. Watching Mama work while I sip a stiff drink is one of the only joys I have in life. Well, this isn't my call to make. Mama, please. You know, it wasn't easy listening to you mouth off to me night after night. I smiled through all the bullying like a professional, but I was hurting deep down. I hid my tears inside. Mama, I'm so sorry. I've been such a jerk. But I believe in second chances, and if you say you'll show some manners from now on, maybe I can forgive you. Man, just fuck this guy off. Just fucking get him out of here. I would, uh, I would implement the ban very swiftly and decisively. You mean it? Of course I do. But I'll tell you this, you mouth off or let those hands wander even once, and I'll have Kiryu-san here toss you back on your ass. Hard. Hey, I'm not a guard dog. I won't do it again, I promise. Yeah, words spoken by the person who's going to do it again. Here, let me apologise to you too, man. Sure, what a fucking incredible apology gift. I think I've done enough harm for one night. See you later. Thanks so much, Kiryu-san. You are so gallant. Don't mention it. I only did what anyone would. Well, I tell you what. Since you had my back, I've got yours. I keep a bat in the bar for punks like him, and it's yours anytime you need it. Thanks, Mama. Oh, and... Mm. <laughs> I know I said I didn't like being bullied, but I wouldn't mind if you pushed me around a little, Kiyu-san. Bruh. You can bully me at any time, Stud Biscuit. Stud Biscuit? What the fuck kind of name is that? I appreciate the offer, but that's really not my style. Aww, you're crushing my dreams, you meanie. <laughs> and then he slowly walks away, but we've got to turn around and immediately go back in to hand her the, uh, the boots. Uh. Hmm? Hey, you guys look pretty down. What's wrong? Sounds like this lady's really down on her luck. Yup, the name's Suzuki. I lost something. Something real important. Mm. My mum made me this scarf when I was little. Just for me. And then she passed away. <sighs> and after I got blackout drunk last night, the scarf was gone when I woke up. Some daughter I am. <clears throat> that was the only thing you had to remember your mum by? All I know is that I was over in Children's Park last night. That's it. They seem busy. Maybe I'll come back later. Alright. Children's jump. Park. Find a scarf. Kiyu san, I love you. You may not feel the same way, but I'm still glad to help you out. I'll do anything for you, Kiyu. Bring on the battles. Wait, what? <laughs> what? Akko has joined Majima Construction. Right. Well, shame we're never playing that. Oh, I was waiting for you. I just want to talk to you about this fucking thing. Do I have to leave to do that? Nah. Hey, you! Wait, this is the other thing. Oh my god, sorry. 
If you find my scarf, bring it back, okay, buddy? It ought to be somewhere near Children's Park. Yeah, obviously. I searched high and low, but maybe you'll have better luck. Do me a solid fella. Uh, all right, I'll bring you the scarf if I find it. Thank you. Is that why I couldn't do the other one? Because I was stuck in that one? Wasn't there? Am I crazy? Wasn't it supposed to be her I spoke to? Sure, let's just buy her out. You might. Drink, drink, drink. Uh, I feel like I'm missing something. Wasn't it? Am I just getting the wrong thing? Uh, or was this the next part of the sub story? Maybe this was the next part of the sub story. With the boots. That's got to be what it is, right? Okay, whilst, whilst we're in the area, and very drunk, <laughs> what's the sub-story up here? 